For me, wedding photography is 20% planning, 70% empathy, and 10% clicking a button. So every couple I work with is totally different to photograph. Some people are really confident in front of the camera, but the vast majority of people are not. And if you try and pause them, they tend to look a little bit awkward. Louise and Sam were quite worried about having their wedding pictures done. They'd not been through that process before. Uh, so we did a pre-wedding shoot a few months before the wedding just to run them through what it was going to be like. Um, and even though we'd been through that process, I was aware that I was going to get the best out of Louise and Sam by giving them a lot of space and just letting them be, t be together. Um, just working out that when they came together, they were just a really fun, natural, loving couple and I didn't need to do anything, any fancy pausing, any grand ideas, because they were doing all the hard work for me. I feel that a massive part of being a wedding photographer is trying to reach a, a moment with a couple when they totally relax and they're just in that moment together and it's as if the camera isn't there. When I see other wedding pictures or pictures that I've taken where that moment happens and the barriers are gone and their inhibitions are totally gone, those are the pictures that instantly take me back to that moment and you can remember what the weather was like, what the field smelled like, um, and it just brings all those memories flooding back. And that's the moment I'm trying to get to with every couple to get the best possible pictures for them. But every couple are so different that they require a different approach to achieve that same final outcome. There were so many lovely moments at Louise and Sam's wedding. All the guests uh, were really loving uh, and expressive and there were just things going on all the time, all day. So it was a very uh, enjoyable kind of repertoire style wedding to photograph. So we started the day at uh, Louise's dad's house and the light in the, uh, the house was beautiful. Really soft light showing off Louise's dress really well. Um, I love this picture of her dad. We were actually in the conservatory here looking out and her dad was just kind of lo locked himself in a different room, kind of trying not to stress. I really love being able to photograph the details on the wedding day, things like uh, nails and bracelets and engagement rings in a natural setting without pausing anybody or um, repositioning anything. So when Louise is just sat getting her final touches done, and the light is just perfect and her hands are on her lap. It's just, I love get, taking the opportunity to get this really nice composition without interrupting the flow of the day. So Louise and Sam chose to get married in the barn at York Maze, which is an incredible space. Um, it's quite a difficult space technically because it's really dark on the left hand side here um, and lit just on one side by these low windows. So I had to be really careful about where I positioned myself during the ceremony. Um, because on one side we had a really, really bright, sunny day, and on the other side it was quite a dark, uh, wood-panelled room. Just before Louise arrived, uh, the girls just kind of hung around in this little side building, some really beautiful old farm buildings at York Maze. Then, when Louise arrived, she took a moment with her bridesmaids just to have a little prayer session in one of the outbuildings. And regardless of uh, if you're religious or not, this more, I found this moment to be like really, really special. Just taking like two minutes out together in quiet before you get married, I think should become a thing. Usually when you arrive at the church or your wedding ceremony venue, everything feels kind of really intense and a little bit rushed sometimes. But just taking this kind of time just to stop and reflect, um, I think everybody should be doing that. I managed to find 30 seconds just to get the girls together under the shade of this tree just to get a real lovely shot of them all together before Louise got married. It was a great ceremony to photograph because I had so much space around uh, the couple. There was a stage at the back of them which I could go on and the barn was massive. So I was able to kind of get loads of different angles and uh, get loads of really nice guest reactions. Um, really like how the lights just picking out Sam's mum here. So you can see the challenge I had with the lighting on these next two pictures. The light coming from the right hand side is really strong and harsh um, and it goes to nearly to near darkness on the left hand side. I actually love the way they, these pictures look. Uh, they have so much depth about them, but like I said, it was a real challenge just to make sure I, I was at the right angle to 
pick out these moments that were happening. Um, you can see it more on this shot where the, the background's really, really bright and there's just little bits of light just highlighting the moment. Because not only Louise and Sam, but all their guests were so kind of enthusiastic and happy all day, it made for so many really nice uh, moments to capture. Um, usually in the ceremony it can be quite serious and still, but they were really embracing the music and the celebration of the wedding and uh, it made for some fantastic pictures. So this shot is a, again a great example of how I could have set this picture up uh, at some point in the day, but um, I just spotted that all the bridesmaids had crossed their legs uh, and caught the light and it was just a fantastic opportunity to get some detail of the dresses their bouquets and their shoes in beautiful light as the light fades off to blackness in the, in the top left there without interrupting the flow of the day. So we've finished the ceremony and everybody's making their way outside. I uh, love this picture of Sam and his granddad, just the way that the light highlights the moment again and we've got this dark background bringing all the attention to the, to the moment that's happening. A little bit of confetti. So after 15, 20 minutes, I took Louise and Sam off to a shaded area where there were a few trees around some old farm buildings just to get a few uh, shots of them together. So this black and white picture here really illustrates what I was uh, referring to before where if I just gave Sam and Louise a little bit of space and just let them be together naturally, we got by far the better pictures. Sam asked me to actually take this picture of his uh, granddad because uh, he thought it was hilarious, and it was. So York Maze as a wedding venue not only has the big rustic barn, which is incredible, and these kind of old, smaller old farm buildings dotted around, you've also got access to the kind of uh, the, the kids bit, the, the park, the big trampoline and the slides, and this clearly rubbed off on all of the guests, as from this point in the day onwards, people seem to spend more time in the air than with their feet on the ground. So this picture of Sam and his groomsmen was not at all set up by me. This was just a moment that was happening. Um, absolutely love the composition on this picture. Um, and then people just started randomly throwing their children in the air. And then wedding guests just started uh, flying above the trees. And then into the sky. It's quite a surreal part of the day, to be honest. Because it was such a warm day, Sam and Louise decided to move their speeches outside, which I absolutely love, because we had the sun setting in the background. Makes my job a heck of a lot easier. Um, fantastic speeches, loads of expression from the guests, and just a lovely kind of half an hour in the kind of cooler evening air. The Rustic Barn at York Maze is such an amazing kind of uh, evening reception venue. All these kind of hanging lanterns and the lights you can put across the roof just make it, give it that really kind of cool rustic barn feel. So after a little bit of dancing, I took uh, Louise and Sam out into the maze part of York Maze as the sun was setting. I really gave them a lot of space. I just let them have a moment together. Um, and after just a few minutes, they totally relaxed and I was able to get some really, really intimate moments. Some, a really, really special time and beautiful light as well. Uh, this is uh, Louise and Sam just walking off uh, into the distance to have five minutes entirely alone without me following them. Later into the evening, the lads disappeared for a while to have a, kind of a cigar session around the back of one of the old uh, farm buildings until Louise found them and wanted to show them how it was done. So this picture, um, I knew what I wanted to achieve, but it was actually going really dark by this point. So I can't quite remember, but I think I used the torch on my mobile phone to light Louise uh, from underneath here, which is why you can see the cigar smoke. Uh, I love the reflection in the glasses um, and the kind of lights in the background. That was a fantastic shot to end the set on. Thank you for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at mark underscore tattersall. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment or message me and I'll see you again next time.